Hey guys, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. Tonight, or today, or this morning, or whatever time it may be where you are, we're gonna use a little bit of a different setup for our video. This is a 2022 Honda Pilot borrowed from my friends at Holmes Honda here in Shreveport, Louisiana. I had a request for a nighttime look at one of these pilots, somebody who was considering buying one, and they wanted to see what it looked like after dark. So what we're gonna do is take a quick look at the exterior, but the main thing they wanted was the interior. And it gives me a chance to do a couple of things that I don't normally do because I have the vehicle for a little bit longer than I do in most of my videos. Now, I don't wanna try and blind you or anything like that, but let's take a quick look here at the front headlights. You've got the fog lights down there on the lower portion of the bumper. Sorry about that. Trying to avoid that as best as I can. Let's see if we can keep from not do or keep from doing that one more time. And a good look at the daytime running lights right here turned on at night. That looks really solid. And a lot of you, it's your favorite feature right here. One of your favorite features that you like to ask about. If I don't mention it, turn signal indicators built into those side view mirrors. Not something we normally get to see well looking this bright because obviously we don't normally film at dusk like this and a look at the rear tail lights and everything going on there but i know the main thing that a couple of you were asking about was to see everything on the interior now what about how things look at night i don't have any lights on all you're seeing is just the light that you'll get any time of the day or night and by the way, you can adjust, let's see if I can do this without getting my hand in the way too much. You can adjust the brightness of the instrument cluster right there, as you can see. We'll turn that back up to nice and bright, but let's do this. I'm gonna turn everything on so that you can see what happens throughout the interior. So obviously the steering wheel mounted controls are now illuminated. So are the controls on the door right here, as you can see. I hope you can see that. It might not be bright enough here. I don't know that this little GoPro can pick that up as well. But you can see everything is illuminated now, even the shifter down there that some of you don't like, that push button shifter right here. Let me turn everything off just so you can see the difference between what it looks like with everything on and with everything off. There you go. Some things get brighter, actually. They kind of dim a little bit, but you have some more illumination at night than what you would normally have during the day. And hopefully this won't be too bright for you, but I'm going to turn on those map lights, the reading lights right there, just so you can see what's there. But one thing that I don't normally get to do here is this. <laughs> And if you're wondering what that is, well, there's the video. It's actually a video on my channel that I did a couple of years ago with the Mercedes-Benz. But there you go, guys. Something I don't normally do. I know I need to do more of that, and I will in the future. But one more thing I want to do real quick before we get out on the road. Let's take a look from the back seat at what everything looks like. And what did I mean by that? Well, this is how well everything is illuminated from this vantage point, including down there on the center console. Again, I don't really know that this GoPro is picking that up very well, but the last thing I want to do is mount the GoPro up there in the windshield and show you what the headlights look like after dark. All right, we're gonna get out on the road here and give you a good view, the best that I possibly can, of what it looks like with the headlights on. This is one of the big advantages of doing these nighttime test drives. I don't do this very often. Maybe I should do it a little bit more often, but take a look at how well everything is illuminated. And that is without the brights on, that is with the brights. And then a little bit more light in this area. So I'm gonna try and get to an area where as I drive around some of the rough spots on this road, Shreveport, Louisiana, known for terrible roads. And this street definitely, well, <laughs> kind of lives up to that. But I want to get to a place where it's a little bit darker so that I can show you what it looks like without the fog lights on. Now, on this particular model of vehicle, on this Pilot, it's not as big of a deal. On my daily driver, which is a Ford Escape, the way the headlights are positioned, I drive with my fog lights on pretty much all the time because it gives me good illumination to the sides. 
And so if you've driven that type of vehicle, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's see here if we can get somewhere where I can maybe show you a little bit better view of how things look without the fog lights on. So I'm gonna turn them off. Let's see here if you can tell. There we go, I think you might be able to see that. Hopefully the GoPro gives you a good enough view. So as you can see, I'm just kind of turning them on and off just to let you see how things look. But overall, I must say, I don't think I've driven a Pilot after dark before. I've done some Honda nighttime test drives in the past, but never quite like this. And unfortunately, when I pulled this model from inventory, I got a Sport. I should have been paying more attention. There's only one other there, and I think it was a higher trim level. So I don't have the ability to mount the GoPro to a sunroof. But hopefully this video does justice for those who wanted to see it. Tell me down in the comments if you want to see more nighttime test drives and I'll see what I can do to make that happen. I sure enjoy these types of videos. So a special thanks to my friends at Holmes Honda for loaning me this Pilot overnight. Got to kind of word that a little bit differently, don't I, compared to what I normally do. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being kind enough to take the time to watch and give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that is on the screen right now, and I will see you there.